Secretary Nossel, welcome. It's good to have you here tonight. Thank you for having me. What do you make of Mr. Cena's apology? It's kind of troubling. You know, it, it felt like a forced confession. You know, somebody who was so contrite and all the very, very, very sorry and expressions of respect for the Chinese government and the Chinese people. You know, this clear sense that he is under tremendous pressure, that this, you know, what may have been barely a kind of a slip of the tongue is leading to potentially draconian consequences for the film, for his own career. It's illustrative of this very heavy-handed pressure that the Chinese apply when someone crosses them. Is this just the way it's going to be for the foreseeable future? We are that reliant, our businesses are, to do business in that huge market? Well, that's a concern. We put out a report called Made in Hollywood, Censored in Beijing, last year, when we recounted a whole series of episodes from the different studios where they had altered plot lines, changed Chinese villains to North Korean villains. In one case, Top Gun uh, changed a decal on the back of uh, Tom Cruise's jacket from the Taiwanese flag to kind of a blank symbol. And it's this sort of steady pattern of studios not just responding to pressure, as they did in this case, but anticipating the pressure and knowing where the red lines are and kind of ahead of time altering their storylines to appease Chinese censors. So I do worry it's become a new way of doing business. What, what happened to celebrities standing up for causes they believe in? I guess only some of the time. Yeah, look, this has been kind of out of view. Not many people uh, know about these changes that are made on set behind the scenes. And so part of our work as a free expression organization is to shine the spotlight and say, look, we're really compromising our principles. Here's an industry that is made on the backbone of creative expression and the freedom to tell stories. And so if you compromise in these ways, we're forfeiting something really significant and, and fundamental to our country, our First Amendment freedoms. You know, an article making the rounds over the last couple of days I have in front of me headlined, Biden's Asia czar says the era of engagement with Xi's China is over, implying that a more intense period of competition is ahead. Is that how you see it as well? Look, I think it's a multifaceted relationship. We're going to cooperate in areas where we can, things like climate change, trade, but it is a battle and a battle of ideas. China's have a very different system. They don't subscribe to principles like human rights and freedom of expression that are very important to identity as a nation. As, as they become more influential globally, we're feeling their hand in you know, often harsh and repressive ways. They're not just back home in China, not just nearby in uh, Hong Kong, but you know, all the way here in, in Hollywood and on campuses in the United States. And I think that's something we need to push back against. So how can we do that? What, what will the role of our government be in cases even as small, theoretically, as this is? You know, one of the proposals that's been made is to require transparency, greater transparency by Hollywood studios about who is funding and financing them, what proportion of their profits are being made in China so that we can understand how the money flows, because that dictates a lot. I think part of it is a responsibility that the industry, frankly, should take. Uh, industry leaders coming together to say, look, we stand for something. You know, we built our businesses on uh, the liberties that we have here in the United States, and we're not about to just forfeit that. I think they should disclose when they make changes and compromises. I think when something like this incident happens, that John Cena should have the backing of his studio and the filmmakers to not have to just, uh, you know, effectively uh, kowtow and make such an obsequious apology uh, in order to, you know, seemingly to save himself. Secretary Nossel, appreciate your time tonight. We'll talk to you again soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.